My wife and I, married less than six months at this point, had moved into one of the ground floor apartments. The building was a fourplex consisting of two lower and two upper apartments. My wife's parents owned the building. The arrangement was that, in exchange for a lower rent, I helped out with various repair and maintenance duties as needed. One day, I was preparing to replace the gas-fired water heater. This was located in the adjacent ground-level apartment, with which we shared a common wall. I shut off the gas valve at the water heater and started to disconnect the water pipes and flue. I had not disconnected the flexible gas line yet, intending to do that last to minimize the possibility of a gas leak. I was not aware that the gas line supplying the water heater also fed the stove in the kitchen. Located around the corner from the water heater closet. I was also unaware that the gas line was loose within the wall cavity and was jostling around as I worked. This movement had created a leak in the flexible gas line that was feeding the stove. After a little while, I started to smell the pungent odor of gas. I double-checked that I had indeed turned off the gas valve feeding the water heater. I then went to check the kitchen stove and found the odor was much stronger there. Thinking that perhaps a pilot light had been extinguished. I turned on one of the cooktop burners to see if it would ignite. Did it ever. Suddenly, a roaring column of flame appeared behind the stove. It immediately started to burn the bottom of the cabinet located above the stove. I panicked and blew as hard as I could on the flame, trying to extinguish it. In doing that, it forced the flame into the wall cavity where, unknown to me, gas had been accumulating for several minutes. Suddenly, the world exploded in flame in front of me and a strangely muffled boom pressed into my ears. I remember experiencing the most extreme fear that I had ever felt, then or since. It was a primal fear where I knew that I was absolutely not in control of the situation and was going to die. Suddenly, I was watching my body from the perspective of my right side, about five feet away and just below normal viewing height. I saw my body enveloped by the flames and being thrown back from the pressure wave. Almost as suddenly, I was back in my body. The experience seemed like it only lasted a moment. But that moment is unmistakable and permanently embedded in my memory. There was no feeling of elation or love, nothing like that. If anything, the extreme fear I had momentarily before the explosion was gone. Although it returned somewhat diminished after I popped back into my body. The lady, who was standing behind me watching, was thrown through a plate glass window. The two apartments upstairs were heavily damaged and the roof was partially blown off the building. Fortunately the only injury the woman suffered was a lacerated forearm from the broken glass. The people upstairs were still asleep so they were not injured, only rudely awakened. I sustained burns that took many months to recover from. 